I'm sorry, you're, you're where? Thailand. But I don't think I'm going to make it to your mum's birthday tonight. OK. Firstly, yes, I am pissed off. And let's not pretend that you even wanted to go. Oh, come on, man. And secondly, Thailand. Yeah, I'm a little bit hazy on the details. How? You know, seriously, I, I don't even know why I ask anymore. Well, it all started with that phone call. Hello? Steph? Were you sleeping? Um, uh, <clears throat> no, no, uh, I, I had something in my throat. Oh, right. I wanted to apologise for how things ended last time. I know it's been a while, but... I was wondering if you wanted to go for a drink tomorrow. A drink? Yeah. Just us two? Yeah. You know that this is Darren, right? Oh, it is. <sighs> I'm joking. Yes, you, Darren. Unless, you know, you're busy or something. What? Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm sure I could make some time in my diary for it. OK. Great. I look forward to it. <laughs> look, I've, um, I've got to go, but I'll message you later. OK, yeah. Um, see you. Bye. Pass me my pillow back. No, it's mine now. Have you guys not moved since I went to work? Ugh, why so loud? Good news. <sighs> so, Steph wants to meet with me tomorrow. Oh, don't go. Why not? Because as history has taught us, this will not end well. Why am I whispering? This is my house! What I was thinking, though, is surely we want to find out what she wants. No. It's not worth it. The last time you went to see her, you came back with a broken hand. The time before that, you got arrested. How many more signs do you need? Yeah. I suppose you're right. But you're going to go anyway. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yes. I mean, I was just trying to figure out what my sexiest outfit is. Oh. Hmm. But you don't have to worry about it, Tone. Like, Tone, honestly, it's going to be different. I am a new man. I'm Darren 3.0. Three? Mm -hmm. Boys, you got to keep it down, all right? You know how Alex gets when he's too tired. You get cranky. He gets cranky. It's not pretty. <sighs> Told you to whisper. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so you're all crashing at Tony's. Mm -hmm. How did you convince him to do that? Well, you know, he's my best mate, so I just... You paid him. A substantial amount, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, thinking about it, it might have been cheaper to stay in a hotel. How did you get evicted anyway? Well, the landlord kicked us out after he uh, found out about the boys' bakery business. After Terry burnt down the kitchen. Oh my gosh, how? Well, he was developing this really awesome flambe technique, and it was actually really tasty. Although, all in all, probably not totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> So, how are things with you? Um, good. Actually, really good. I've, uh, I've been offered a job as a fashion buyer. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> what are we drinking this swill for? We should get some champagne. Oh, hold on. It's in Milan. Oh. I mean, it's what I've always wanted. You know, I'd be working with some amazing designers and the money is great. It's just moving. My whole life is here. Everyone I care about. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted to see you. It'd be good to get your advice, actually. You always were the spontaneous one in the relationship. Could you just commute? The money's not that good. It's a great opportunity. I know that I should just take it. You know, there's, there's no reason not to. Right? Uh, toilet. Excuse me? I, I, ju I just, um, a uh, toilet. 
I, I don't know, guys. I, I just don't think that I can invest in a cupcake business. But he's you're not, not listening. Yep. We sell pastries too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said. Um, but. Uh huh. Um, Hello, mate. How's it going? Oh, look, man. I'm, I'm in trouble. Oh, really? Um, what's going on? Steph is coming on to me. What? Why is that a bad thing, mate? They usually shut up about this girl. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know what to do. First she tells me she's got this job that means she's gonna have to move abroad. And then all of a sudden she starts holding my hand and giving me this look. <sighs> Trust me, I know that look. So many of the best memories with Steph came off. after that look. You said she's going abroad? Yeah, to Milan. Look, I think the thought of leaving has made her realise what she really wants, which is me. <laughs> Darren, you know Steph. You two went out for ages. Do you honestly think that that's what she wants? Hey, let me speak to him. Hey, mate, look, what you need to do, yeah, is ask Steph if she wants to invest in our bakery now that she'll be earning more money. Worth a shot. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry about that. Some, uh zipper issues. Oh, right. Look, um, Steph, I know you. You didn't ask me to talk because you wanted someone to convince you to go. It's because you know I'm the one person who would try the hardest to make you stay. And that was the old Darren, and I am the new Darren. And the new Darren doesn't want you to stay. Well, he does, but you shouldn't. Not for me. And definitely not because you're scared. You were right, this is an amazing opportunity for you and you should take it. You're great at what you do, you're amazing. And in general. <laughs> and you should go to Milan and you should show them that. Thank you, Darren. Come in. I hope we can give that Just Friends thing a proper go this time. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go call them and accept the offer. <laughs> I'll speak to you soon, okay? I, I, I knew all of that. You, you know that, right? <laughs> like, I, I was there for most of it. I, I just wanna know how you got to Thailand. Oh, well, I was drunk. Of course. I was just thinking about how, like, Steph could just up and leave. And I thought, well, why can't I, you know? And then the next thing I know, I woke up on a beach here. How is that even possible? Like, how can you even get on a plane that hammered? Again, a little fuzzy on the details. But I think this has been really good for me. Like, I've got a lot of stuff out of my system. Because of all of the throwing up? No! Well, yeah. But also loads of, like, emotional stuff, too. Well, I... <laughs> I'm glad and slightly surprised that you're still alive. Um, when are you coming home? You should come out here, man. Honestly, the weather is amazing and you could really do with the town. Well, you know that's not going to happen. Unlike you, I have responsibilities. You know, like a job. Oh, uh, that brings me to my next point. I need you to actually send me some money. I can't actually afford a return flight home. <laughs> and also, an elephant stole my passport. But that is a long story. This is why the Emergency Idiot Fund was a great idea. All right, I get it. You were right. 